In this video, I'm going to show you the technique I used to make this painting. It's a very large canvas, 72 by 44 inches, and it consists of several layers of paint. I'm going to show you on a smaller canvas. This is the first step after I painted the canvas yellow. I drew lines in various shades of red, beginning at the bottom with the darkest red, and then working my way up through the various cadmiums, red deep and red light, and cadmium orange and so forth. I drew very loose lines, just kind of um, what looked like scribbles. You can see I'm getting into the lighter colors. And then I repeated several times, going back to the darker reds, up through the top of the canvas. And this canvas is 48 inches high by 12 inches wide. So the painting will look quite different but it's the same technique. So after that, uh, the lines dried, then I started filling in some of these spaces. Here I am filling in with white. And this step takes great care. I have to use a small brush and be careful to uh, fill in the lines and not go outside the lines. Now I'm using a red. You'll see that I use a variety of colors to fill in these spaces up and down the whole canvas. Uh, including a pink, an orange, and a light green. After that layer has dried, I then draw more lines. These are more up and down lines. And I start with the dark green, again filling the dark green over the dark red that I first used, and then moving into lighter greens continuing that same pattern of up, up and down lines until I finally get to the uh, lightest green. So I uh, covered the whole canvas in these lines and then let that dry. You can see moving towards the top of the canvas now. I'm covering all those spaces and now I'm filling in some of those lines after that has, layer has dried. This time I'm using a dark gray and I'm filling in some of those up and down lines with the dark gray. I'll be using the darkest gray again where I have the darkest green, filling in the lines uh, here and there across the canvas. In choosing which spaces to fill, it's kind of just using your intuition and checking the painting periodically to see how it's coming along. Uh, each decision is made at the time until uh, the final steps where you really try to look at the whole canvas and figure out where the painting needs some highlights. Okay, here I'm filling in with a transparent, very pale green. And now with a, a pale yellow that I've mixed with white, so it's a cadmium yellow light mixed with white. So this is an opaque covering. And each time I go over a filled in circle underneath, I have to decide whether to paint around it or to cover it over. And you'll see that sometimes I make the decision just to go right through it. And other times I carefully paint around it. So again, this just gives the painting different texture, a different feel by uh, leaving some of them uh, un uncovered and whole and covering others over. So it gives a sense of more depth back and forth. Here I am using a very pale green that has been mixed with white. And now I'm in the final stages where I'm selecting uh, shapes to paint in or paint over. And these will be the ones that kind of pop out when they're painted over the others. So here is when I have to look at the whole canvas and see uh, what I think the painting needs to complete the composition. And here's the finished large painting. And here are the smaller paintings that you saw me working on on the, on the easel.